Total Research Associates has done an Omnibus Pulse survey in April uh, here in Bermuda. Can you tell us about the questions and, and the results from the survey? Yeah, we wanted to, um, we normally go to field every quarter, but we felt that given the circumstances in these strange times we're all living in, it was really important to get a handle on how people were feeling in the midst of the shelter in place order. So we did a survey, we asked a whole bunch of things, and this is the first in the series of results that we're releasing over the next couple of weeks. But one of the things we wanted to understand was how seriously people were um, finding the pandemic, how serious a threat it was to them and to Bermuda Bermuda as a whole. And we found really clearly that Bermuda residents are finding uh, that they're taking this, the pandemic very seriously. So 69% gave us a score of 8 to 10 um, on a score uh, on a scale of seriousness and 31% gave us a score of 10 out of 10 for being extremely serious. So a third of the population, which is pretty remarkable. So really a serious issue. And older residents and women were a little bit more likely to find it um, something they found serious. And only 5% gave us really low scores. So I think, you know, it gives you a sense of how, um, how grave a situation it was that so many people were giving us such superlative scores on that question. 81% told us that they were concerned that they would get uh, the virus themselves. And 78% were really concerned that an immediate family would family member would get it, um, and half were extremely worried about their family getting it. So again, just kind of building on that sense um, that people are really concerned, not only about themselves, but even more so about their family members. As part of that, of course, has been a significant job loss or job suspension during this time. We found some really big impacts on unemployment. It's probably no surprise to people, but we wanted to get a really quantitative measure on that. We found that four in 10 had had their working hours reduced and a third of the population has had their salary or their pay reduced and a quarter of people have been laid off. So those are really big numbers. Uh, you know, you never see those kinds of swings in employment and, and salary and, uh, and pay like you are seeing now. And unfortunately, the layoffs are more likely to have been felt by people who are income earners. And that's likely because industries like construction and hospitality and retail sectors are where the layoffs would have been more necessary and people weren't able to necessarily work at home. Thinking about when we collected the data a couple of weeks ago, we did ask people if they had experienced a layoff, if they had applied for any temporary unemployment benefits. And at the time, uh, more than half had, and over half had already received payment. So that's good that, you know, those measures the government was taking um, were being immediately um, felt going back into field in June. So if anybody receives a phone call, this is why we're calling. We're trying to keep a handle on these types of things and the effects that are being felt by the population.